Florida today, Daytona Beach is getting a new 1200 lot RV park. Yeah, and it's going to be more than 350 acres and have lots to do. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay is live for us in Daytona Beach tonight. So Chris, some people are against this park. Yes, that's because there's a neighborhood right next to it that a lot of people moved into for the peace and quiet as it's on the outskirts of town. There's some concern based on the people I spoke with that they believe a major project like this could ruin their peace and quiet. It's just the classic case of not my backyard. Residents in the Daytona High Ridge Estates neighborhood are all tuned in to the city's plans for an RV resort. The city commission just approved rezoning this area to create the Daytona Lakes RV resort this week, and neighbors here are torn. Building our local economy is important, so if it's, uh, you know, resort style and it's bringing in tourism, that's going to be good for local businesses. So we're out here and we just get everything dumped on us, and you know, it's all for the benefit of the people in the city. The park will be built on this massive plot of land between I-4 and US-92. It's about 350 acres. Mark Lane says he doesn't think the area is equipped to deal with so many extra visitors. He wants the city to focus on other things. Get us some drainage, get us some sidewalks out here so that we don't have people getting run over. And on the other hand, Catherine tells me she doesn't see the same downside to more people coming into town. More people can definitely be more noise, possibly more problems, but not necessarily more problems. At first, there are about 500 RV sites in the original proposal, but the plan the commissioners just voted on doubles that. New things, change is always a little scary, but um, I think it would be something bringing in a lot of good. The commission claims most of the property will remain untouched to ease one of the top concerns, which is the impact on nature. I reached out to the city's planning office for more details, but haven't heard back just yet. In just a few minutes ago, I got off the phone with the attorney representing the group who's leading these efforts. He says he's excited to get things going, and he thinks that this will be great for this neighborhood and the surrounding area. The total timeline for this is about two years, according to the city commission. Reporting live from Daytona Beach, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News. Chris